Margaret Weaver, the daughter of Orkney, the widow of two lords of Rockland. In the fall, all things die. Crops are brought in, animals slaughtered, meat hung in the chimneys in hopes that it lasts through the winter. And then we have snow and the earth disappears and also the outside world. No communication, the roads are a mess. The snow gets deeper, Christmas comes. The season celebrated to mark the passing of the seasons, the winter solstice in the old religion, a time of death and rebirth, mostly rebirth. But the Christians who have taken over our country, whether we like it or not, have moved their Christ's birth from the springtime when it ought to have been to take over our wonderful holidays, which we love and need desperately. They last from the solstice, modernly the 21st of December more or less, until the Christian Epiphany, 12th day, uh, sixth day of January, the 12th day of Christmas, giving us a good solid three weeks of fun and feast and new clothes and the renewal of contracts for my household, for all of my servants are contracted, though they are peasants under my hand and I have their lives in my keeping. They may not leave me without my permission, of course. Then we go into a brief period of trying to get things back together again, and we go into Lent. Lent is focused on southern realms where animals are born, mothers must nurse them, chickens lay eggs and must hatch them. In our case, nobody lays anything and nobody has anything, but we don't eat meat and we don't eat eggs and we don't have milk regardless. Then cometh Easter where we give out more new clothes to those who serve us, summer clothes, the stuff that has to be replaced. And we can again have meat, milk, and eggs, but of course we don't because we have lambs, kids, foals, chicks. Well, actually we don't have chicks yet, but we've got enough daylight that the hens are laying and they will raise egg chicks, so we don't eat any eggs either. But we can have meat. And we have springtime, and the earth is green, and we have fresh herbs in our meat, and our dried out old vegetables, and our dried fruit, which is getting pretty slim. We have green but it is also for us the season of starving, regardless of the fact that Lent was back then, now is when we have little or nothing. For we cannot eat the seed that we will plant to grow this year's crops, though we may in fact starve and lose our children because of it. Then cometh the season of birth. This uh, people, they were born over this period, the result of last year's fertility rate. Lots of fun. I'm a little old for that sort of thing, but it was fun in my day. <laughs> and then cometh the season of hard, hard work. Making hay, raising animals, training horses. We do, after all, have nothing in Rockland but rocks and grass, and there's little value in the rocks. But with grass, we can feed to our animals and then sell them. At the end of summer, after we have made hay, and raised animals, we go to the fair <laughs> and we sell them. We have the lamb, we have sheep, and therefore we have wool. Of course, that's long since sold and gone. But we go to the fair and we can spend free. And we sell the horses and the oxen that we have trained to people who haven't got the brains to do it, is what it really comes down to. <laughs> and we go home with wonderful things fine linen, far better than what we can raise and spin for ourselves because our season is too short to grow the long, fine fiber of good linen. 
and good, fine, soft woolen. After all, we raise the stuff we don't have time to sit and spin all the I want. My peasants, they spin and they weave and they wear. I can buy. And we go home from the fair with spices and herbs that we can't grow and produce that is unheard of. I actually brought home a pomegranate and everybody thought it was poisonous, but it was delicious. <laughs> and then we come again into the season of fall, and all things die, and we slaughter, and we hang meat in the chicken.